All right, yo, what is good with y'all? I'm gonna show y'all the best build for every faction for every stat. They're gonna be there's gonna be timestamps throughout the video, and I'm with my boy Milkman. Yo, yeah, what's up? All right, and drop us up if y'all haven't already. I'm gonna keep making content like this, and there's only like five percent of y'all subscribed, so just drop a sub. We're gonna tell y'all the best weapon and best skill box for every single tree. So let's just get into it. Let's start off with Sorry for Hakuda. Um, uh, for Sorry for Hakuda, I'd go like 40 Hakuda, 20 Speed, mm -hmm. and 5 Kendo. For yeah. Shunko, obviously, you want Fire Shunko with uh, Sorry for Hakuda. You want, you know, you don't really need Spine Ren too much, and you want Safeguard and Brace, which are like the, you know, 5 Kendo for that. Brace is just free damage reduction, Safeguard, knocks away attackers. For the skill boxes, every skill box is really good. It's up to preference, but you really want Death Flare. You want Death Flare, Shori if you want to rush, and Gehenna if you just want to get that free auto grip, like in big ganks. Mm -hmm. And for the weapon, for SR Hakuda, I'm pretty sure they just get a built-in one with Fire Shunko, right? Yeah, either Fire or Wind. Just depends on what you want more. I think Fire Shunko is better, though. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to Sorry for Kendo. Uh, Sorry for Kendo is like uh, 40 Kendo and then 25 speed. It's a really luck-based build, so like, if you end up getting speed skill boxes, you gotta get lucky. And you also have to get lucky with your Kendo ones. Cause you want um, you want ghost cleave eviscerate that's like the best combo in my opinion you could also go ghost cleave uh sonata, sonata. yeah but you also the main reason you want that speed is for um what's his name pressure shift right here yeah pressure shifts really uh, good officially better than mortal ties after it got gutted so yeah mortal ties and flower petals aren't really worth it anymore so you don't even want to mm -hmm. go 45 or 50. all right yep. and yeah the best skill box for that is you know uh eviscerate and What's his name? Ghost Cleave or Ghost Cleave and Sonata Flow. Mm -hmm. And the best weapon is definitely Longsword. Let's keep it a stack. Longsword's busted. Yeah. Just Longsword, Longsword. do everything. All right. And then we got SR Keto. Uh, uh, I'd go like 50 Keto and 15 Speed because uh, you want you want Soikatsu. It's, it's really good. It almost yeah, carries you. And so does so does Donku. And mm, Donku's definitely. Donku's crazy. Must. Uh, and then you just want Flash Step Mastery too, like you know, like you know what I mean, like yep. it's just 15 Speed, pretty good. Uh, for the skill boxes for SR Keto, um, you want um, you want Kuyo and those three dragons, because honestly, Shenzhen Raiho isn't really all that. It's really mid, um, and Kuyo is just like the best, in my opinion. It's the best um, SR Keto skill box. Also, I'm pretty sure the three dragons are called like Goryu Ten Metsu or something like that. Yeah, it's some crazy name. So. And yeah, for SR Keto, you also want Longsword. I mean, Longsword's really good. So. Yep. All right, let's move on to SR healing. You want 60 um, healing and you want like what? What was it? Five kendo? Yeah, five kendo for brace and all those other passives that they get. For brace and yeah, safeguard. You know, it's, it's just like, you know, it's just free. Like you want a turtle with healing anyway. So yeah. yeah. The You're best move skill best. boxes with uh, SR healing is definitely Discord. Like, bro, Discord's literally the best skill box in the game. Let's keep it a stack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the one the the little double shield one I, I don't know the exact name but the one that isn't amplifier amplifier is the worst healing skill box so just don't go for amplifier yeah and the best weapon i'd say is um probably just Honestly, longsword again maybe longsword and or dagger because you can get like a lot of distance on dagger yeah a lot of distance on dagger you just want to you just want to play like a little like a little you know you just, you just yeah. want to run away bro mm -hmm. and for speed i have speed right now and this is the best build for sr speed you want 60 speed and five kendo for that brace and safeguard. Brace is just free, you know what I mean? Free damage reduction. For um, for speed, uh, we have 60 for time cut. Time cut is like, it, it's pretty it's pretty damn good. And you get that Vasto variant, which goes crazy. So, you know, you want that. And mm -hmm. I'd say the best skill boxes for speed, uh, I'd say uh, Ghost Cleave and what's his name? The one that isn't Flash Fang. What was his name again? Um, are you talking about Shadow Strike? Yeah, Strata Strike. Strata Strike goes cleave goes crazy. Personally, I don't really like oh, Flash yeah. Fang that much, but it is up to preference. Flash Fang is still pretty good. So it's not really mm -hmm. that bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, that's what I would go for speed and the weapon, Longsword, once again. Longsword is just, you know, I have it right now. Longsword is just mm -hmm. so, so good. All right, and so we have Vasto. Um, let's just get into it. We have Vasto Hakuda. Uh, for Vasto Hakuda, I'd go like 50 Hakuda and 15 speed, once again. Mm -hmm um i mean not once again it's not the exact same thing but yeah i go like 15 speed with it because you know you, with a uh, vasto hakuda you do want spine rend. it like it actually yep. goes kind of crazy and yeah, spine you know the 15 speed is just for you know uh flash step mastery too mm -hmm. um but what's his name you could also go 
Hakuda Kido because uh what's his name oh my god i keep on like blinking uh cerro oh. cornea is pretty good uh mm -hmm. cerro confinement is true with Sarah, hakuda yeah. combos it's, it's like it's overall really good with hakuda but let's just move on to like mm -hmm. actual true hakuda for the yeah. skill boxes i'd go it, once again it's like death flare it, it's kind of up to preference personally i'd go death flare gehenna but you could also go death flare shori because shori yeah. does fall off and ranked really hard later on yeah, and, you, gotta, um, you gotta mix with it. Yeah, you gotta mix with it. It, it. it is still pretty good, but Gehenna can also just like combo extend and all that. So you know, that's mm -hmm. that's like that's what it is. Um, with the weapon, I just go Grimjaw claws. Grimjaw claws do go kind of crazy. You can just keep on combo extending with it, so it's really good. Yeah, that's like the only option. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Um, we have uh, Vasto Kendo. Vasto Kendo. You have some uh, options with Vasto Kendo. I feel Vasto you Kendo. You go 40 Kendo, five medic, and 15 speed. Yeah. Because you want that high speed regeneration just in case, like in those overworld ganks, it comes in handy. I hear. Um, and it's just kind of overall better, especially if you're a person that only wants the Kendo skill boxes. So, yeah. The yeah. Kendo skill boxes are really good, so not a full eviscerate. Yeah. Kind of go crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Two of the best ones. Yeah. In the game. And yeah, overall, you don't you don't need pressure shift. I mean, the high speed regen is better than pressure shift in most situations. Yeah. Now you'll still get it though. Yeah. But um, let's move to Keto. Vasto Keto mm -hmm. is my main build. It's what I have right now. 50 Keto because that new, um, what's his name? Terro Salvo is really good. It's 50 Keto for it. And I have mm -hmm. 15 speed, you know, just pretty basic build. Flash Step Mastery 2. And you could go high speed regen, but Flash Step Mastery 2 is better overall, in my opinion. I have the yeah. best skill boxes uh, with uh, Sterile Fireflies and Hollow Bite. Uh, those are the best keto skill boxes for Vasto. The other one kind of sucks, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, yeah. it, it's like a, you can just keep on auto tracking with both of these and just keep on pressuring. The best weapon for it, I'd say, is Noitora or Blood Edge, but I'm using Noitora right now because it's really good. It's not nerfed yet. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah is busted. Also, with Vasto Kendo, we forgot to mention the, the best weapon is probably just Noitora again. <laughs> yeah, Noitora or whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Uh, Vasto weapons in general aren't really too too crazy, so it's like whatever yeah, it's whatever perfect. floats your boat, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Alright, let's move on to Vasto healing. Uh, same thing as all the healings are the same, honestly. Yeah, you just need There's 60 really... healing and 5 kendo for the brace. That's that's basically it. Yeah, you just want to be as slimy as possible. It just doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, I'd go, um, you know, the same skill boxes. You want the, the healing one, the shiel healing shield, and you want discord. You don't want amplifier. Um, the best weapon for it, I'd actually say Noitora once again. So you can, you can just cripple yeah. your opponent and run away, like and, and heal. Oh my god! And, and then just go and heal, bro, for four seconds. They they can't really get after you. This freest combo. All right, and then we have Vasto Speed. Vasto Speed, I don't even recommend going that. It's pretty bad, but sixty and five once again. Sixty for time cut and five for Kendo Brace. Because brace is just really good. Actually, you mm -hmm. instead of brace, you could go high speed regen with Vasto, right? Yeah, you could. Um, it, it, it's whatever fits your preference. I think brace is better because you know it's just, it just reduces your damage taken for like two minutes. So. Yeah, honestly, I think the best um, Cero variants are either Cornea because it literally comes out instantly. Like, like it's almost near like unreactable. Yeah, Cornea and, is so stupid. Yeah, or if you want to go Blade Cero, it does uh, percent damage. And it also makes it somewhat usable because it has a decreased wind up. Yeah, honestly, yeah. with speed, you could go, um, yeah, Blade Zero, but with healing, you definitely want to go Cornea. And with, mm -hmm. we actually kind of forgot to mention that Keto, you want to go Cornea. Honestly, most of these just want to go Cornea, you know what I mean? All right, yep. so that's all we have for Vasto. For, uh, yeah, for the Vasto speed skill boxes, you want to go um, Ghost Cleave, uh, Strata Strike once again. I don't think Flash Fang is really too worth it. Yeah. It's, it's, not right. it's not really too crazy and once again you want to go noitora you can just cripple them and just toy like you can just mess with them bro once they're crippled with noitora or, yeah or uh a good runner up is those um those two double fans they have a really good crit just they just bring you in and just like hit you away so yeah so if noitora gets nerfed just go those double fans all right and that's what we have for oh, yeah actually we, we should mention the true vasto variants overall the best true vasto yeah. variant is speed so you know like for all of them, just say it's a speed. Like the best true Vasto yeah. variant is easily speed. I'm sorry, it's so good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move yeah, on yeah, to Quincy. Yeah. All right, and we have Quincy. We're just gonna start off. We have Quincy Hakuda. 
Uh, Quincy Halkata is pretty much the same, honestly. Mm -hmm. With Quincy Halkata, you just want to go 50 Halkata and 15 speed um, for Spine Rend, and you want that 15 speed for Flash Step Mastery 2. The same skill yep. boxes, once again, you want Death Flare, and you could either go Gehenna or Shori, but I personally would go Gehenna, you know what I mean? And for the mm -hmm. weapon for Quincy Halkata, definitely go Warden. I mean, who isn't going Warden, dude? Those little chains around your fist. I don't know yeah. if it's bugged right now, but you can just keep spamming your M2. So it's, it's really overpowered right now. And let's just get into Kendo. Uh, Kendo is probably the same as Soul Reaper. This 40 and then 25. Get lucky with and then get lucky with like the uh, skill boxes, and you'll be all right. You want the 25 speed for uh, pressure shift, and you want 40 Kendo for flower passage. You don't really need flowing petals or mortal ties anymore. For the skill boxes, you want w what he meant by get lucky. You want um, Ghost Cleave and Sonata Flow. Mm -hmm. So you want Ghost Cleave with 25 speed, and you want Sonata Flow for you know Sonata Flow is just really good. Or you could go Eviscerate and eh, like like vice versa. You know what I mean? And yep. for the weapon, for sorry for um Quincy Kendo um. It really depends on what you want. I mean, Cutlass is really good. It's pretty much like Dagger version two. Yeah, Cutlass um, is really quick swing speed. Um, honestly, I'd, I'd say Cutlass. Yeah, Cutlass because it has that yeah. it has that dash forward insta guard break crit anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, and for Quincy Keto, which is what I have, you want to go my build fifty Keto for that you know Saint Bogan, uh, mm -hmm. Reshi tip. I mean, it has like a lot of fifties. I mean, it only has two, but those two kind of carry it. And fifteen speed yeah. for flash step mastery too. For the skill boxes, mm -hmm. you want Licked Reagan and Holy Thunder. Holy Thunder is so... F oh my god, look. It's just a yeah. huge AoE that, like, stuns. It's so mm -hmm. good. And Licked Reagan is just Licked Reagan. Everyone knows it's busted. And um, for that weapon, you definitely want Qu Quilge. It just got nerfed, but the M2 is still good, despite being nerfed. It just insta-guard breaks and stuns for a little bit. So what else would you, what else would you want, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alright, and Quincy Medic. Quincy Medic, the same thing as everything else. Um... Once again, you just want to play slimy, uh, and yep. I mean, what else could you want? You want like sixty healing and five for, into kendo for the brace, so you can get like free defense and safeguard is pretty good. You know, just knock away attackers. For the healing mm -hmm. skill boxes, once again, you want the healing, the healing aura one that like it's like a double shield and heals people, and you want discord. Like you, you just want you just don't want amplifier. You want the other two. Those are the two best healing skill boxes. And honestly, you could probably go Quilge with it once again to just keep away attackers. You know, you, you just want to play like as um, as far away as possible, as, like you know, just run away with healing in general. So that's what you would want to do. All right, and next up we have Quincy Speed, which is a pretty popular build. I'd go 60 Speed and 5 Kendo, like the other ones, honestly, because 5 Kendo for the you know for brace and safeguard. Once again, 60 Speed is just like overall really good uh for time cut and with the skill boxes once again you probably want to go like ghost cleave you definitely want ghost cleave but for the second skill box um you could go like what's his name flash cut is like uh i don't really like flash fang like personally yeah. i would just go ghost cleave with um what's that one's name uh strata uh, strike ghost cleave strata strike is my personal like favorite but flash fang is like it's still pretty decent if you prefer that and for the weapon mm -hmm. With Quincy Speed, I would once again go Cutlass, probably. Cutlass is really good. Yep. It has quick swing That's speed, good. insta guard break, like lunge attack, so you know. It's just really good overall. And that's actually it. That's all we have. Um, I can maybe mm -hmm. do like a best accessories for each one later, uh, if you guys want to see that. Uh, those are the best builds, or like some of the best. I mean, maybe your build is more creative and it has like, it has some viability, but it'll, if it's really broken, it'll probably just get nerfed down the line anyway. So that's our best builds, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Have a good one.